Kodesh Kodesh guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are here with some dungeon goodiness to look at. Dungeon, of course, Vesper's host came out yesterday, but after three people completed contest mode, it did open up the dungeon to everyone. So now you can play the normal ass mode, so my pleb ass can now get a gun. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing contest, guys. I'm not good enough, okay? But of course, if you do the dungeon, there is a ton of loot to go over. And one of the weapons you can get your hands on is going to be this brand new spiffy looking weapon, the VS Pyro Electric propellant okay we're gonna go to the vs because i mean that's just a mouthful in general but this is of course going to be the new dungeon auto and oh my god does this look hella dope i know there is an underlying gun model here it kind of looks like summoner and stuff but this gives me real extremophile sort of uh, vibes to it from d1 and everything and it just looks hella dope i mean look at the bulkiness of this weapon it's a chonker and if you throw on some ornaments of course with it as well Oh, it looks hella freaking dope. As I said, this is from the dungeon I got from the second encounter. I'm not too sure right now because there's no API update on usually on the dungeon stuff until around Monday or Tuesday reset. So we don't even know exactly what rolls you can kind of get on this or where exactly in the dungeon it does drop. I can guarantee it drops from the second encounter. But rolls wise, as I said, we are kind of in the dark. But this is the roll I did get myself. Arrowhead break, extended bra, armor piercing rounds, ricochet rounds. And then, of course, fragile focus, which is going to be really dope when you pair it with freaking kill clip. So, to be honest, I got a pretty decent roll for PvP, I'm not going to lie. With the range mask work as well, probably one of the better ones. The real interesting thing on it, though, that I can tell you is going to be the bright legacy iron trait. So, damage with this weapon generates a small amount of ability energy for the one closest to a full charge. Honestly, pretty dope. So, it's kind of like Wellspring, but kind of like the opposite and stuff but this uh, vs this should be really really dope as i said it looks really nice and i will say as well if you do have the dungeon the dungeon is hella dope i mean it's aesthetically it's so freaking nice as i said clovis bray stuff is always just oh bray stuff it's always just hella good but yeah we're gonna showcase what this is like in both some pvp pve 600 rpm arc rifle it should be good pve and maybe pvp so without further ado let's go in with the vs auto Alrighty, so we are going to be on, of course, the Eventide Labs with the little freaking VS to go. And this is what the weapon's going to look like. And you'll see it has its own kind of unique scope and stuff. So you'll see, like, down the bottom, you can kind of see the magazine size and whatnot. But 600 RPM goodiness, it should be good, but it is going to be an absolute freaking chunker. So half my screen, yep, is gone. <laughs> so that is one thing you probably have to, I wouldn't say look out for, but just be wary of. And oh, oh, there's two dudes here. And it's 600 RPM, so I should be able to shred this guy. Oh, you're 1 HP, buddy. You're 1 shot. Give me the kill. I will say as well, and of course, the guy comes up with me. It does have the highlight sort of scope to it as well, which is really, really dope. And as I said, it's 600 RPM, so it's in sort of the archetype where I'd actually say these are kind of decent. I will definitely say autos aren't exactly the meta right now. Like, they're not bad or anything like that, but you got pulse rifles and everything that do a little bit better and whatnot. But when you kind of get these going, they can't be really, really nice now, buddy. You're 1 HP. Bro, when to get in the way would be 1 HP. My good God. Thank God we got the kill. I have Fajo focus on this, and I also have the kill clip, so if I run at somebody, I should be able to shred them. It's like, I wouldn't say a bad map for this, but... Oh, Gallahorn! Well, close quarters, maps like this, where they're all just gonna hide behind walls, I, it's just so hard to get to the final blow, but it should still be really, really dope. And you can already kind of see, it does spray pretty well, and I think that when it comes to 600s, it's one of the really nice ones, and the fact that it is arc as well, I don't think there's that many that are arc that are, like, actually decent with rolls and everything. Buddy, oh, if he actually dodged backwards and stalled on me, I would have freaking alt F4. That would have been insane. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not even getting the skill clip kind of freaking going because every time I get a kill, they're way too far away or else I'm 1 HP, so I can't re -peak. So we need to kind of get the kill streak going, though. We can do it because this gun is going to be, honestly, it is actually really, really dope. I love the aesthetic of it, too. I think that looks really, really nice. An SMG. Oh, what the like out? <laughs> Oh, the multi mac up close. All right, kill streak time, kill streak time. We can get this going, guys. We can get this going. There's a guy here. There's two guys here, buddy. Get out of the rift. Out of the rift. I'm so freaking dead. Oh my god, there's a guy behind us as well. Got this kill, keep going. Give me the heals. We get this guy at the back. Oh, and then we cook him, boys. Then we cook him with freaking gravy. Yes. Oh my god, when you get kill clip on this, it actually just shreds. <laughs> oh, 600 RPMs. I'm telling you, they are obviously just like some of the better. I'd say, oh. Oh, God, there's another guy here, buddy. Get him. And we get the other guy as well. Oh, reload real quick. Get me that kill clip. Oh, there's so many people. Oh, my God. I'm freaking volatile as well. I just wanted to get my kill clip kind of going. Is that so hard to freaking ask? Buddy. Buddy. What the? Buddy. What, what the hell? Is he not dead? What? <laughs> How are you not dead? You're 1 HP. And I'm getting teabagged as well. Oh, my good God. I had the freaking rift there as well. The rifty boy was in session and he still manages 
The freaking survival one HP. But I will definitely say that this is a really nice sort of weapon and everything. I said it looks really, really dope. That's like the main thing I'm kind of going for. You know, screw it. Hey, boys. They're all just going to run away. They're all just going to run away. I freaking know it. Oh, my man freaking stayed. He stayed to fight. Come on. Anyone else? I put this in a terrible position. I'm not going to lie. But anyone else want to fight this? <laughs> I thought there was going to be like two or three people there. So I kind of went for it. But uh, that's unfortunate. But I will definitely still say that. Especially with this fragile focus. It does have some decent ass range to it. And you can't absolutely shred people. <laughs> in downtown Twilight Arsenal. Oh, man. How am I getting blasted by every freaking super? Oh, I just spawned in. We'll go. Don't do that to me. Oh, my God. It's going to be two dudes here. My chat show. I've got kill clip. Beat the bear. Beat the bear. No, nah, the kill clip is gone. Oh, I'll get this guy. Anyway, though, he's one HP. Don't worry, guys. We shoot this. This guy up our ass. Yep. Oh, I've got the call on. I've got the call on. Oh, that's not the weapon you want to have in that situation. Yo, buddy. Buddy, buddy. No! The freaking heal! Thank you! Why did I just do a freaking Randy Fist? Oh, that's a freaking super. Guys, as I always say, if there's gonna be a super in this game, it's gonna hit me. They got another Dom Blade. They have like a lot of Dom Blades or freaking Titans. What the hell? Well, if there's gonna be a super that kills somebody, it's gonna be on my freaking ass. I get this guy. No! But you don't want HP. Thank God. <laughs> as I said, it's a 600, so it is in that meta archetype, and it can't absolutely short out. So I will definitely say that it'll probably be worth it for a lot of people who like their autos, especially on console. I will say on PC, it's uh, it's very much that people are going to be using the more hand cannony sort of weapons. This guy here as well. Got him real quick. Thank you. But people will definitely go in with the more hand cannons and pull strap on PC. But on console, these weapons, they will do really, really well, especially with how sticky they can be. Mm, I'm telling you, if we ever enter a freaking 600 RPM meta again, this is going to be one of the weapons to try to use. So I know it's in a dungeon and everything, but... That does not mean that this is bad at all. This thing can absolutely shred. No, that's heavy. Guys, he doesn't have a rocket. He doesn't have a rocket, right? Oh, I'm Oh, well, for once, there's a super going off. And I didn't freaking die to it. Who would have thunk that? No, there's just, there's just, there's just no way. Just, just, <laughs> there's just no way. There's someone else supers across the map. And then I get turned on by a goddamn golden gun out of nowhere. It's just, it can't be real. My look in this game cannot be like that. And, yo, get rid of this thing. Oh, he's got a peak when I'm freaking shooting the other yoke. Oh, yo, buddy. Buddy. He actually killed someone. And he healed? How did he heal? Where did that heal come from? What? And I just died to a song of flame. This is just, this is just. How did that even happen? Oh, good God. I'm so confused at how that guy healed, though. That was a shotgun kill. Unless he meleeed him and had, like, freaking currency down. But, come on. Nobody's using currency. I'm, like, the only person in this game with, who apparently uses it. Oh, heal me, puppy. Thank you. Got kill clip go. I'll shred this guy. Oh, man. As I said, when you have the kill clip going or any sort of damage buff, you actually do shred people. And, heck, go your team shot it because I was 1 HP. Get this guy though. Give me one. Give me two. We got the ricochet on. Give me that guy at the back. Oh, I'm telling you, when you have the fragile focus on, the range you can go at this freaking way with this weapon is honestly kind of nuts. Hey, buddy. Stop jiggle peeking and running away. Go kill him. Thank you, Akupa. Oh, we get this guy though. You know, screw up. Screw up. We got a freaking well. <laughs> Guys, freaking leave me alone. I'm a freaking well of solitude. We'll get this guy instead. Oh, he just got absolutely shredded. The guy up here. Get heads off the wall! Off the wall! Off the wall! <laughs> He's 1 HP! No! Peek me! It's such a bad placement. I just need to be elevated by like a centimeter. And we just freaking shred like freaking four people. I get this guy instead though. Ooh, there we go. As I said. Kill clip on this. And honestly, just absolutely shred. We can win this. Oh my. Oh my god. We pulled that out of our ass, boys. I'm not going to lie. That was freaking out of our ass. I just got one tap by melee. <laughs> but I will say overall that this FES. It's actually really, really dope. I, I do honestly think if we do get to a 600 RPM sort of meta, this might be one that we'd be looking at. It honestly, it feels like the Braytech to me. The Braytech Werewolf, it's basically that, but it's Arc, And it honestly feels so freaking juicy PvP. Alrighty, time for the PvE side of things, of course, with our VS a lot of the code. And I will say that as much as it was great PvP, this thing's actually a bagger. PvE, this is probably where it's going to shine a little bit more, especially with like ability regens and whatnot as well with the uh, the Braytech kind of legacy. I will say that I'm not 100% on the roll, so I, I'm not going to guarantee it as Vault Shot, but there's most likely going to be either Vault Shot or that new um, kind of Vault perk that you get for just laying out shots on the target, so... It is an arc weapon. If they didn't give it to it, it would be an absolute freaking scam. But 
This is most likely going to have all those sorts of goodiness with the Vault Perks and everything. And I will say that it's going to be dope if it does because it will absolutely slay. Now, there's a big boy and a thing, boys. But in a nice arc build, I'm telling you, this is going to be a really dope sort of weapon. Or even Prismatic, you can kind of see with the uh, getaway artist. This is going to be really, really dope for it. Even just getting your, like, nades back and stuff like that. You can kind of see every time I get a kill, I am getting a little bit of energy from a grenade. So I already have my nade back to go arcs out again. So I will definitely say that the energy gains you do get back are actually pretty nice. I'm not screaming in my face. But yeah, as I said, the energy gains you kind of get from the iron trade, they actually are kind of nice and everything. If you have a jolt shot on, think about it. If you get vaulting everybody, it'd just be really nice for act or whatnot. It is going to be your closest to ability charge. So if I use um, my melee right now like this, I'll only be charging up, of course, my grenade because it's closer. So that's kind of how it works and everything like that. So if you are looking to try and, like, spec into something, you'd have to, like, sacrifice not using, a, like, a certain perk maybe at certain times. But for the most part, it's still going to be really, really dope. And you can kind of see as far as 600s go, they're still really solid PvE. I say they're, like, one of the most consistent to use in PvE. I know there's some 450s people like, but you can think of, like, summoners and all that sort of jazz as well. Autos in general, they do really well when they're in the 600 archetype, so... That is why I will say the dungeon, it is going to have a pretty banger sort of weapon. And as I said, guys, it's not always just really about how well the weapon performs. Sometimes it's all just about the freaking look. And you can see that this thing looks beautiful. I mean, I just love the freaking scope on it. It's such a clean ass sort of scope. I know it's a chunker, so a lot of people might not like that. But for the most part, guys, this has such good aesthetics to it. And as I said, a decent iron trade. So. But if we get some good vault shot rolls and everything like that, it will still be really nice with all the builds that are kind of going. I know stasis is kind of the thing this season, so I do understand why this will be probably not on everyone's priority list because stasis is just kind of insane to be using the stasis weapon. Just so many mods and so many ways to make it like really, really useful. But I still do think that if you're going to be doing the dungeon anyway, be looking out for some rolls of this. It isn't any crafting or anything on these sorts of weapons either and all that sort of jazz. So, orangey is going to be a fickle one. You're going to have to rely on it to be good to you. But for the most part, because it is a 600 RPM, any sort of roll you kind of get with this, it would most likely be somewhat decent. And as I said, it is arc 2, so... I, I, I honestly, I could not see Bungie not giving it some form of jolting perk in either the freaking... Uh, Fault shot or the other one that came out recently is that they have to give it one of them okay there's no way they bring out a dungeon weapon especially and don't give it any of the juicers okay they just couldn't do it oh boys i have no one stop oh thank god you do freaking hero will just rocket his ass there we go i still do think that this weapon guys i have no one stop someone help me actually i can kind of do this yeah i don't have anything for it but maybe we'll freeze his ass freeze up freeze up freeze up thank you <laughs> but yeah, I think if you compare this to like centrifuge, and obviously the centrifuge is going to do better, but that's because that's exotic. And I do think that as far as the like, kind of legendary versions of these go, this is definitely one of the better ones to kind of go in with. I think it's honestly really, really dope. Now, with this absolute blast, that guy, he's got shredded, buddy, with the freaking tether. But yeah, I think PvE, this thing is an absolute freaking beast. I think that um, there is no slouch on this one. Do not be uh, like regretting or do not think, oh, I've got a dungeon drop. It's your freaking all rifle. This is definitely going to be one of the better weapons to pick up. As I said, there's a couple of decent ones from the uh, dungeon, but this feels honestly so freaking nice. I think it's a really dope ass auto. All right, he found a boss out with the little VS that could and everything. And this chunker, I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. I think it's a really dope ass sort of auto and everything. I said, it is chunky, so I don't understand PvP why some people might avoid using it because some people like obviously the peripherals. And you can see just. Even when you no scope with this thing, it is a chunker and a half. So I do understand why some people want like the gold model and everything. But as I said, it does perform really, really well. You can absolutely slay with this weapon PvP. And PvE, this thing is just, it's so juicy. So 100% VS itself. Dungeon weapon. I got it from second encounter. You can probably get it from most of them. But for the most part, we're getting some rolls because it's a beautiful weapon. As I said, aesthetically, it does look so dope. Like, it looks so Halo S. That's all I'll say. Well, that is it for me. And of course, the VS Pyroelectric Propellant Auto Rifle itself. As I said, that's a mouthful. So the VS itself, though, this thing is honestly a banger of an auto. It gives me real nice, let's say, break tech where werewolf sort of vibes. I know it's different RPMs and stuff, but it can still shred out nonetheless. As I said, 600 RPMs will probably be more of, let's say, the um, archetype where they do the best in terms of PvP and everything right now. But for the most part, guys, I'm telling you, when we get some good rolls, you can see PvP. This thing could absolutely shred in the right engagements. And then PvE, I'm telling you, when it gets some arc sort of um, non since everything arc sort of builds to it all shots and all that sort of jazz it's gonna be so so juicy as i said the iron trade is actually really nice as well for builds but 
Overall, this auto, it feels really, really nice. Sometimes it's not even about stats or anything like that. You can look at all the stats you want, but if a weapon doesn't feel nice, you won't use it. But I'm telling you, this feels so good to use. It feels, handles like an absolute dream. And as I said, aesthetically, it looks really, really nice. The only thing I will say is that some people, you can kind of see it is a chonker. So some people in PvP might not like it because it takes up too much of your gun model or too much of your view and everything like that. I understand that. If we do hit an auto rifle meta again, like a 600 RPM, this will definitely be up there on top of the list of being one of the better ones to pick up. As I said, this thing just feels, it feels so freaking good. Even as a massive mag too, I have no extra like freaking magazine perks on right now. It's got 48 in the mag. It has a huge mag for like basically for free. So I will say overall, yeah, the VS 100% worth going into the dungeon to pick up. I know as I said, the dungeon isn't really for everyone, but the dungeon as well, it is really nice. As I said, it's a really fun sort of dungeon too. Uh, you get this from the second account, so you don't have to complete the dungeon, but... Tell you, that dungeon is super, super fun. So, what is that worth going in to try to get yourself an auto rifle and get some other loot? But the VS, definitely a banger of an auto. Would we'll try again. But regardless, if you like the video, show us like, I'd release some more content, subscribe, fantastic day, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next collective in the next one.